If a persistent, unbalanced tire has you feeling like this guy, you're not alone. Maybe you've had your tires balanced once and then you went back to the shop and had them redo it and, and you still feel a vibration at highway speeds and it's just driving you crazy. Well, today we're going to look at what might be wrong and how to fix it. We're visiting Hunter Engineering's training center where they train the tire technicians that work on your car. Now, Hunter isn't a sponsor, but they do know their stuff. So Ross, what is going on? I've had my tires balanced once, I've had them tire balanced another time, and there's still, there's still vibrations. What could it possibly be? Like, what causes this to happen? Well, typically, uh, when a shop's gonna do a standard balance on a tire, they're gonna actually balance it, and they're gonna put on some correction weights, which are gonna address the balance issue. Um, but a lot of times, what they're not doing is, is they're not road forcing the assembly. So why can't they fix this with just a regular balancer, like just one that spins the tire? Yeah, so when they're adding these correction weights on, they're addressing a, a vibration balance. And then a vibration balance can typically be corrected by adding weights in different locations on the rim assembly. Sometimes it's one, it could be multiple, depending on the machine they're using. But when it goes down the road, we could have kind of a lumping effect where the tire's rolling in a row and it's like thump, thump. We actually have this vibration caused by that assembly not being you know perfectly round or as close to round as possible so what you're saying is my tire can be perfectly balanced the computer says everything's good but i can still feel vibrations right caused by road force so what's the difference between this and just a balancer that, that, that spins the wheels yeah so this is a regular balancer so we'll do that first portion which will put the correction weights on sticky weights or hammer weights and it'll correct the balance issue but then it takes it a little bit further and it simulates a road test so it has a roller over here it drops on the tire it will put a simulated weight of the vehicle on the tire and actually road test the tire going on the road and then we'll come up and say we're good to go or maybe it'll identify there's a problem and it will give corrective action to the technician to, to make that better for the customer. So it's duplicating what the tire actually do, does when, when, it's, when it's on the road Pushing surface, on the right? Road. Like that roller there is basically the road. It is, it's simulating the road. But some people will say, look, I, I, I'm not buying like uh, cheap tires. I mean, I've got you know, premium tires. I paid a premium price. They must be perfect, right? We would hope. You know, tire manufacturers do a really, really good job of making quality products, um, but they go through mass production and there's, there's curing processes and there's things that happen when a tire is made and it might not be perfect. So I could have paid a lot of money for my rims. I could have paid a lot of money for my tires, but because they're mass produced, they might be a little bit out, heavier on one spot, lighter than another spot, and that's what causes the vibrations, is that correct? It can, yeah. So there's a, in our business, it's called a stack tolerance. So there could be a tolerance allowable on a rim, um, which will allow them to be a little bit out, and a tire could have a tolerance. So when those align in the wrong spot, the vibration could be accentuated by those being coming. It's called stacking, where the vibrations now is duplicated by both of them coming together. Uh, we, we'll, sh we'll show you here shortly where we can actually the machine will identify to put the tire in a specific place on a rim to, to help with that, that situation. So we've gone ahead and we've mounted this tire on the machine here, with, like a typical balancer will. We put it on the shaft here, we tighten it down, there's a part here to tighten it. The balancer is going to spin right now and it's going to confirm balance on this tire. So whether or not we're going to need correction weights or sticky weights, it immediately is going to come up with a number here and it's say this is what's required to make this balance correctly. And now it's actually dropping the roller and simulating a road test. It's going to road test this tire. And it's going to give us what's going on with this tire. So it automatically opened the hood here for us and identified originally what I spoke about, that it has, it has an imbalance. So it's going to need some weights. But it's also identified that there's another vibration issue. So it's right on the screen here for us. It's saying, what do we want to do? The technician has to make a decision. So right here, it lets us know that this current tire has 23 pounds of road force, which really doesn't mean a lot to people. But when we're going down, and I'll show you right now briefly, but when we're going down the road, a, tech, a customer's gonna feel a vibration. This actually gives a little animation here and shows what that tire looks like going down the road. So the technician now has to make a decision. Can we fix this? Can we make this better? Okay, so over here on the machine, when we had the screen pop up initially, 
it gives the technician what we currently have. So it's going to load here in a second. It tells us we currently have 23 pounds of road force. So when it's going on the road, it's got a little bit of a hop to it, which is going to cause a vibration. And it's predicting that if we follow a procedure here that it's programmed to do, we can reduce that down to seven pounds of road force, which is actually acceptable. Here it's telling the technician to take uh, a tire chalk, a tire crayon, and mark the tire right here. And it will move the rim over and we'll give a laser here to mark the rim. And they would go to a tire changer and they would clock those two lines. And the machine's already calculated by doing that, we are gonna reduce this, this vibration caused by road force. That is a true road force vibration. So really what you're doing is you're taking the air out of the tire and kind of twisting it so that those two marks line up. Correct. And then the, uh, the, the vibration is gone. The, the machine predicts it. We would bring it back here. We would confirm that we corrected that. So we would do a, a verification spin. So we could actually go over here and hit verification. It'll say, yes, you fixed it. And then now the technician would proceed to putting the balance weights on. We don't put the balance weights on ahead of time because when we move it, we change the position of the tire on the rim. So the balance weights might change. Are there any tires that you cannot get rid of you know vibrations like have you seen tires that are just so bad that this even this won't fix it yeah there's some situations that maybe we have a perfectly round rim so the rim is like perfect and it, they do exist they, they are being manufactured today uh, and the tire doesn't matter where we put it on the rim it might not be better so sometimes what a technician might do is they might set that aside do the other three maybe find a rim that might not be so perfect, it might be out a little bit, and that tire might be a good fit for that rim, sometimes. So ironically, you want a not perfect rim for a not perfect tire for the perfect balance. Exactly. So if you have vibration problems, find a retailer, a tire retailer that has this equipment. Yep. So here's how you can locate a tire retailer or a car dealership with this advanced road force balancer from Hunter Engineering. First, log on to hunter.com. Click on Products. Then select Wheel Balancers. On the right side of the page, select Locate Hunter Equipment. Once that page opens up, deselect Road Force Balancers and make sure that only Road Force Elite is selected. That's because this is the newer version of the machine that uses lasers. Now, right down here, you'll want to type in your zip code or postal code to find the location nearest you. Now, I've been dealing with a vibration problem that has been driving me absolutely mad for weeks. So, I took my personal vehicle to Green Car Tires. They checked out all four tires and they found that a couple of them needed to be clocked, which, as Ross explained, means that the tires needed to be rotated on the rims in order to balance things out. Now, to be perfectly honest, I was very relieved to discover that there was an actual problem with my wheel assemblies that a normal balancer wasn't able to detect. I say relieved because for a while, I honestly thought I was going, to, I was going nuts or, or that something more serious was wrong with my car. Now, fortunately, Corey Stokes, the owner of Green Car Tires, was happy to declare me perfectly sane. Bottom line, because I was thinking I was losing my mind, <laughs> am I insane or not? Did, was, you're not insane. No, so, uh, you're this was justified. There was something wrong. You, they were all off by quite a bit. You know what I mean? Some as much as more than an ounce. And all it takes, some drivers and some vehicles are uh, more sensitive than others. Some vehicles you could feel a little more than others. Like a truck, you could get away with a lot more than a car uh, as far as the tolerances go. But even a quarter ounce, I can feel that and would drive me nuts. You know, I drive on the highway a lot, so. so you're not a medical professional, but you, you, you've just, you're saying I'm sane. Yes, 100%. <laughs> You're not losing your mind. <laughs> now, most of the time, tire vibrations can become an issue whenever you're buying and installing brand new tires. But how can you tell whether it's time to replace your tires or whether the old tires will last a little bit longer? Well, if you'd like to know, please check out the video here. And as always, thanks for watching.